A new restaurant in North St. Louis County is blowing up on social media. Lots of people have plenty to say about the age restrictions at Bliss in Florissant. Today, Five On Your Side's Robert Townsend talked to the owner and customers. Kelly, the restaurant owner, tells me he wanted a business where people 30 years old and older can go, enjoy, and have a peaceful time. And with that, he says, come age limits. What's up with the brothers? Y'all good? Welcome to Bliss. Two weeks ago, 36-year-old Marvin Payton What's going on? Much yeah, success. Yeah. and his wife opened their new upscale restaurant near West Florissant and New Halls Ferry Road this in North St. Louis upscale, County. Man. It represents pure happiness and pure utopia. It's a home away from home. You could come here and feel like that, that you were actually on a resort. Delicious. Jamaican style. The restaurant's popular West African Caribbean cuisine, lamb chops ready, isn't the only hot topic simmering on social media. People can't stop chattering about the age restrictions at Bliss. Women must be at least 30 years old and men 35 to enter the business. Oh, they know. It's just something for the old. They know. I agree, man. They understand, they understand this, the sun maturity art. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you think 35 is low and high enough? I think, put it like this. Let me just say this. 35, put it like this. By 35, if you're if he's not in prison, right? So let's just say he didn't go to prison between 17 and 22, right? For like something serious. So he would be coming home around 40, late 30s. He's done already done his thing, and he's a little bit more mature. If he's been on the streets that whole time, and he hasn't been um, on the prison for a long period of time, then he might be some a, a safe bet too. So I think, yeah, I think thirty five is a good is a good age, but it's not like a full a fail safe age. You're still going to mm -hmm. have some problems. Yeah, you're just lowering the, the uh, you're just lowering the uh, probability. Yeah, um, if you really. I would say you really should invite like old ass sons to shit like this if you if you just want to mitigate all disaster. But you know, he probably wants to keep it like a, he don't want he doesn't want it to look like a fucking uh retirement home and shit. Yeah, I, I think I think thirty five is I think thirty five is decent because at thirty five, man, like a lot of like the streets is just is a young man's game. 35 is cool, man. Some brothers might have settled down by now and, you know, got themselves together and whatnot. But, yeah, the, the like you said, the maturity arc on the sun, man, you still going to have a little bit of problem. If you moved it up to 40, you'd be perfect. Yeah, 40, I think, I think would be probably ideal for some people. For other groups, it's like it would, this wouldn't even be a problem at all. <laughs> He he will hardly be maintaining his business at thirty five years old. I mean, they're going to be fighting too. Yeah, He's but fighting. less. There'll be there'll be less fighting. But yeah, but you you're right. Like old old sons. Yeah, they especially um, like in a place like St. Louis or like this is this is the suburb of St. Louis. So this is basically St. Louis. Yeah, you gonna have like a thirty-five year old son is still gonna be like involved in like some street type. He's still gonna like like on the way to the club, he bumping many men by fifty cent, and, and, and you know what I'm saying. And, 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 and how long would they bore me by Tupac? He bumping real nineties gangster rap on his way up there, so it ain't like. It ain't like you dealing with somebody that's necessarily gonna be. What, what about thirty five in a dress code? Uh, yeah, thirty five in the dress code would be good. No hats, no hats. Yeah. What about them shirts? Them two dudes got already. There? Would you let them in? Uh, see, this is my thing. I I'm cool with thirty five because you got to make money. If you look at this place, man, you got to fill this place up, man. This ain't no small place to fill up. 
you can this this shit looking sparse right now. You got to fill this place up. You got to keep, look at all these lights, a lot of fucking lights and shit and TVs mm-hmm. and shit. That electricity bill a motherfucker, man. You, you have can't to have a lot of waiters too. Everybody, oh yeah, a lot of waiters. And you know, the service is going to be terrible too. So it's like, you got to, you got to, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's the tip, the, the first, the, the, the way, the service is going to be terrible from the waiters. The tip's going to be a Dismal from the patrons, so it's like you know what I'm saying. You got to pay your waiters pretty good to compensate the fact that they're not gonna make shit from tips. You think the uh, likelihood that they'll tip goes up with age? Nah, nah. I think I think I think the tip. I think the tip, I think the tip could go up with class. Like, I think I think these people would tip like on a hundred dollar bill. These people would tip ten bucks. Mm. Five, that's, that's, like, that's like that's like fifty bucks for like a glider. Is, uh, what what city is this in? This is the Louis, suburb of St. Louis. Yeah, it's suburb of St. Louis. I, was say, I don't know if anyone knows the area. I was wondering if it was a good area. Nah, ain't no. I think, so. I think Mitchell West Florence. I think Mitchell West Florence. Yeah, yeah, that's not a good area. Sperry Road in North St. Louis County. It represents pure happiness. And pure utopia. It's a home away from home. You could come here and feel like that, that you were actually on a resort. Delicious. Jamaican style. The restaurant's popular West African Caribbean cuisine, lamb chops ready, isn't the only hot topic simmering on social media. People can't stop chattering about the age restrictions at Bliss. Women must be at least 30 years old and men 35 to enter the business. It's just something for the older people to come to and have a happy hour, come get some good food, and not have to worry about so many young folks that bring some of that drama. And of course, we have been getting a little backlash, but that's okay, because we stick it to our code. Everyone who enters the restaurant will have to show their oh, ID damn, to a hostess dude. or St. Like Louis that. County. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's why everybody's showing up. <laughs> they got the yeah. dark book queens in here, bro. <laughs> Everyone who enters the yeah. restaurant will have to show their ID to a hostess or a St. Louis like County police too. officer yeah. after 7 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. Yeah. So he's going to have a police at the door? Right. Wednesday through Friday? He said or. He said or. So, yeah, I'm sure they have. Yeah, they may have an off-duty police officer there. That's also another thing that would be good. Here's the thing, though. Like, like the, the comment right here says. You still, he says, still got to tell him no at the door, though, <laughs> and we know that could be a problem. Yeah, that would be a, that that that's something that you can't avoid anyway. Like you can never avoid that. So it's but like you, you ever, can't age that out. But if you have a cop telling him that, it helps a lot, you know. Oh yeah, it helps a lot with a cop. Yeah, so it helps a lot more with a cop. That's true. Not it's still not it's still not perfect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean you know, you know what are you gonna do? Yo, what if they made the age like sixty? Just to avoid all issues, you know? They put in the bud. No, it isn't the grandkids in there fighting. <laughs> the sixty year olds would bring their grandkids, they'd be in there fighting. But I, I got a problem oh. with this though. I, my problem with this idea is I think it's bullshit because if everybody, if the gliders and everybody else got to tolerate these motherfuckers, you would do too, motherfucker. Mm. Suits the clientele that he's trying to draw in. I think he's on the right track. Those are younger ones. You could come patronize the business once you turn 30 or 35. Because we're going to nah, need this nigga while. tripping, bro. Hey, you got that dirt right at the front, front door. Orders. You you attract them. You gonna attract a certain type of energy. You got that type of dark bed at the front door, bro. Yeah, but if you had them red bowls at the door, you bring in. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you gonna send the blitz through. You got a, a thick <laughs> red bone at the front door. Yeah, you. Oh, wow. Hey, Tess, in two weeks, they will offer to go orders. He also says overall, most of the feedback about their age limits has been positive. Okay. A new restaurant. All right, man. Yeah, Shout out to Cubs, man. I ain't mad at him, man. I, I definitely ain't mad at that brother. Well, play on, player. At least you he, know? uh, you know, at least he made a restaurant and didn't talk about being black to the news crew. 
<laughs> That's true. He didn't mention. Yeah, he, he didn't, didn't mention that at all. Yeah, well, he, he did, did kind of in the age limit. That was implied. That was you know yeah. black. <laughs> Man, we no 